Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a hotel management system. In this management system, you can book the rooms for your customers or your customer can book their rooms themselves. So this is a admin and user based web app dashboard and web application for your hotel room management system. Okay. So as you can see here, this is our dashboard clean look and the bookings the new booking the users and rooms so without wasting your time i am going to start these all the things step by step first of all i log out and refresh my web application as of you and as of now you can see here i have a google sheet with name hotel room management and have four child sheets okay so in login sheet a column is specified for the username and b column is for the password and c column for the roles and d column for the name I just copy my username for the admin and go here and enter my credentials for the admin and click on this sign in. So when I click on this sign in, it will verify and if verify is successful, it will be the login. So you can see here, this is our dashboard. So in dashboard, our view, a refresh, manual refresh button we have given. And if manual, manual refresh not work and you don't want to manual refresh, it will auto refresh themselves after eight seconds. Okay, so this is the data, the total rooms, the booked rooms, and the available rooms. So available rooms list here, and the booked rooms list here. You can see here, it will auto refresh right now. So this is our dashboard sheet, and you can see here, this is the data which is exactly shown here. Okay, so this data will be updated automatically in the dashboard sheet. You don't need to it manually okay now go to your booking sections and when you go to your bookings as of you can see here the active bookings here how the active booking comes here you go to new booking for example a receptionist is a uh, stand on the reception area and someone customer comes and he want to book a room so what's his full name its full name is uh Aves. his full name is Aves, and uh, city is you can uh, set here the hometown and this is the number and the status is married or unmarried if it's unmarried you can select unmarried if it's married you can select the married and uh, occupancy type is single or family so if it's single this will not be able to add okay if it's the family you can add the names of the family members okay we just select here the single and if you want to give him a discount you can add the percentage for example you give him the 10 percent discount okay and the tax is 18 percent okay by the government law okay now the payment what type uh it's an online payment and now you can see here these are the rooms which are available right now you can able to see five rooms are available for booking the room 102 the 201 the 203 okay you can add the series the 101 for the single members okay the 201 for the two two room two persons bedroom for the 301 for the three persons or four persons bedroom series so we select the room 202 okay and the check-in date we can add here we check in on 22 and uh, we have checkout date checkout date we want to check out on 29th okay and click on this create booking so when i click on this create booking as you can see here my ticket is created and and you can see here the email we have added we have sent the email to that particular user okay uh we have added i think we have added the wrong you can see here this is the room booking we have added this email is not exist so whenever you enter your customer or your uh, your customer email id that email will be gone to their email id they will get the username and password for the default login okay now go to here and uh, copy this and as i mentioned in my thumbnail or my video uh this is a admin and user so we just come here and uh, copy this uh and copy this email id from here and uh, go here and paste it here as of now you can see here we have the password and go here and click here and click on this sign so when i click on this sign in as of now you can able to see i am successfully logging and i have and, and i have myself the, now my account is created by the hotel administrator 
now whenever i want i will log in and create the booking myself okay and go to the uh, my bookings when you go to my bookings as of now you can able to see your ticket id is this and your row number is this and duration is seven days okay so after the seven days when the customer comes in the receptionist and want to check out the system so uh, he will go here and give him the id or room number 202 so we will find the room number 202 the total bill is 17508 and if we want to check out we just need to click on this check out so it will process and after process it will generate a invoice for you okay so you can give him a print okay easily by your printer or control uh, or, or press the control p so you can see here the hotel invoice is successfully being printed okay you understand now the concept of this hotel management system okay go to the users when you go to the users as of now you can see here the user is automatically created we have booked a room for a particular user and that particular user id is created automatically and now whenever the user come here you can see here and uh, he entered their name for example this okay the city is this and this marriage center is this single okay cash now he want to book the room now you can see here now you can see one thing i want to show you the two, room number 202 is available why it's available because the checkout for this particular room is completed and it's again for the booking and it's available again for the booking we select 102 right now and just select here today as of now you can see here and we select the checkout date and click on this book room book room so when we click on this book room as of now you can see here uh, the room booked successfully so now available rooms the 102 is not available and go to your my bookings and when you go to your my bookings you can see here your current booking is this duration is one day okay understand so for example in your hotel at one two more rooms are uh, added in your hotels so you just come here and i added 101 you can see here the 101 is available already and we just select here the deluxe okay the price is the 1500 and select available and click on this add room so when i click on this add room you can see here a room with this number is already exists we need to enter a different number and click on this add room so when i click on this add room you can see here the room added successfully so as of now you can see here the room is added successfully okay so this is our hotel management system right now the active bookings in our hotel management system will be displayed here the total rooms is seven the booked rooms is two and the available rooms is five and in your booking sections your data will be the load here as you can see here the room 101 and 102 are booked so when you go to the dashboard you can see here the 101 and 102 is booked remain these or are the available for the bookings so this is our simple hotel management web app dashboard or web application hope you uh, this web application this web dashboard will be help you so we thank you very much for watching this video thank you very